I've had a few brushes with fame. I've been really lucky. I collect, I'm not sure how it really started, but I collect albums. And I get them signed by artists. And I've been very lucky in getting them signed by any of a number of artists. I have a whole bunch on you know, the walls in the house. And you know, I've met Joan Osborne. I got one from Ben Folds. Some people you may know, some people may not know. And I kind of wiggle and, and maneuver my way into these scenarios to get them. I carry, if I go to a concert, I love concerts, and I go to a concert as often as I can. And invariably, if I go to a concert, depending on the venue, I try to take an album with me. Can you hear me? I try, I try to take an album with me. And they might come out of my personal collection, or I might go out and buy them. And my wife and my sister both have shaken their heads at my stubbornness and my desire to get these signed because they're like, Matt, you're not going to get it signed. And I'm, in the back of my head, I'm just thinking, just watch me. So my wife and I went to see Colin Hay, The Violent Femmes, and um, crap. Uh, Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bare naked ladies. That is your deer in the headlight moments moment, ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna see it in Bare Naked Ladies. So Colin Hay, great. Violent Femmes, I love. Violent Femmes, I have the first Violent Femmes album. I don't know if anyone's a Violent Femmes fan. I'm a big Violent Femmes fan. I have the original album. I played it and played it and played it and played it in my youth. So I brought it with me, and she thinks I'm nuts for bringing it with me. So we go to the concert. It's at the Man in Philadelphia. Great venue, beautiful venue. We're sitting there, we watch Colin Hay. Great, you know, great show. Then the Violent Femmes come on. Greater show. Everyone's singing along. It's, it's a fun time. And she's like, you're not getting it signed. And then they announce the Violent Femmes will be signing their album, you know, around, you know, wh wherever they have it. It's around the, uh, the back of the stage. And I'm like, we're going. And what I heard was the Violent Femmes will be signing the album. But it said, they actually said select members, the Violent Femmes will be signing the album. So I'm going anyway. And we get in this long line. Everybody else is buying the new album. I'm not buying the new album. I have the original album. I want this signed by Gordon Gano. I want this signed by Brian Ritchie. And the drummer is no longer with the band. But I want this signed by the originals, because this is going on my wall. We get up there, and I get closer and closer, and I see that Gordon Gano, the lead singer, is not there my heart sinks a little bit because he's the marquee member. He is it. But Brian Ritchie's still there. Brian Ritchie's the bass player. Uh, he plays you know, stand-up bass, plays the xylophone. If you know Gone Daddy Gone and you hear the wonderful, uh, amazing xylophone, that's Brian Ritchie. I want his autograph. I get up there. I get the album. I sit down in front of him. He looks at me and I say, he's, you know, going to sign it, and I say, you know, here's you know, the original album. He says, when did you get this album? I said, when it originally came out in 1984. And he's kind of taken aback a little bit. He's like, really? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's, I've been playing it since, you know, since I was you know, a kid. And he takes his Sharpie, and he starts writing, Brian Ritchie. And I'm stoked. This is sweet. I haven't given it a thought. The drummer who's sitting in with the band now is sitting beside him. He's been signing the album that just came out. And I see Brian Ritchie slide the album over to this guy. Bear in mind, this guy probably was not even a little zygote when the original album came out. He was not alive. He has, no, he, he has no reference. He has nothing. He has no right to put his Sharpie on my album. 
it's going, how do you stop the man from sight? No, I want him. I don't want you. I really don't want you, Doogie Hauser. And so he starts signing the album. And they hand it back to me. And he hands it back to me. I have to admit, he hands it back to me with a smile on his face like he has fulfilled my dream. And he has kind of taken a little of my dream and a little bit on my violent femme soul away from me, given the fact that he has now defaced my album. So I still have the album, but it's not going on the wall. It's sitting with the other vinyl. It will be played, but it will not be displayed. If I ever get a chance to see the Violent Femmes again, and I get Gordon Gano to sign it, I don't know, I might buy another album of the exact album and get that signed and try it all again. But that was an interesting, interesting occasion.